And what do we have here? We have a picture. Looks like something sad is happening. The king looks sad. He's holding a boy that looks dead on his lap and his mom is crying over him. Very sad picture. Kind of scary too. Yeah. Let's read the story that goes along with this picture. It is the middle of the night and outside everything is all dark. In this picture, everyone is crying. Do you know why? It's because the king's oldest boy has died. God's angel came and the boy died because there was no blood on the door. God said to put the blood on the door, but the king wouldn't do it. The king is sorry now that he hurt God's people. And he's sorry that he did not believe God and to do what God said. Now he will quickly send someone to tell Moses that he will stop hurting the children of Israel. He will tell Moses to take God's people out of his country so that God will not kill any more of his people. Hmm. Some lessons are hard to learn. And some people just are stubborn. They don't listen until it's too late. And it seems like that's what happened with Pharaoh. He didn't believe in God. He made fun of God. He made fun of Moses. He would not obey and then God, he brought a terrible, terrible punishment on the house of Pharaoh. Yeah. So here's the questions that go with the story. Number one, why is everyone so sad? Oh, because the prince died. Yeah, the king's son died. Number two, what will the king tell Moses now? We'll say, get out of here. I don't want you in my country anymore. Get your people out of here. You don't have to be slaves anymore. Just leave. Yeah, so they will get freedom at a terrible price, at a terrible price. Some people died so they could be free. You know, sometimes freedom comes at a terrible price. Yeah. You can read more about this in your Bible with words in Exodus chapter 12, verses 29 through 36. I know it's not a very happy story. But it is true. And there are things that we can learn when stories are true, even if they're sad sometimes. So we don't have to avoid sad stories. We just have to learn the lessons and keep moving, keep believing that better days are coming, that God really is good. It's just sometimes when we disobey, bad things happen. So hopefully, next time, we'll have a better story and a happier story. I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Pastor Wayne H. You can join me next time for another page, a happier page in the Bible and pictures for little eyes.